Power remains out for hundreds of thousands of people impacted by Hurricane Laura. Also, many communities are without running water tonight. The number of dead in Texas and Louisiana has reached 15 people. Cleanup and reconstruction continues today as President Donald Trump gets a first-hand look at the damages. Chris Pallone reports. As hurricane cleanup continues in Louisiana and Texas, an outpouring of gratitude for the first responders, like these National Guard troops going door to door to offer help. Thank you. You guys are a godsend. About a half million people still don't have power in Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Some don't even have running water. Repair crews are making progress, but it's slow. It's a war zone. It really is. President Trump spent Saturday seeing the damage firsthand in Lake Charles, Louisiana, and Orange, Texas. He signed a disaster declaration which will help speed up federal aid to the affected areas. One thing I know about this state, they rebuild it fast, there's no problem, and we'll supply what we have to supply, and you know what a lot of that is, I think, called green, right? And we'll take care of you. Many people died in the hurricane, one of the most powerful ever to hit the area. Authorities say several succumbed to carbon monoxide gas given off by a poorly ventilated generator. Five people in a house, they had a generator in an attached garage. The door was open or at least partially open and um, they're not with us anymore. Utility workers, FEMA and volunteers are blanketing the area to help victims get back on their feet, providing food, water and shelter to those who need it most. Chris Pallone, NBC News. The Category 4 storms, 150 mile per hour winds and strong rain toppled trees and damaged buildings as far north as central Arkansas. Still ahead on Valley News Live at 6, Ford is stepping up to help keep people protected during the COVID-19 pandemic.